Oh, well done, dear. But you need to unmute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I, I've, not, I, I've not used this thing before. <laughs> what, a computer? No, no, I didn't mean... Uh, uh, a joke. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, Mrs. Gardner, big hello. <laughs> I'm Fiona. I live at Longacre, west side of the village. Right. The other end to you. Yes. Well, I'm Carol. Lovely. Is Martin there too? I was here somewhere. <laughs> Martin! Ma! Martin! How did you know my husband is called Martin? Um, oh, um, Bounty must have told me. She takes all the details. <laughs> Bounty? <laughs> Who's Bounty? Oh. I mean, you know, Fiona, your face is familiar. Oh, really? I don't, well, I don't, um, bridge, perhaps? No, never tried that. Search flowers. Oh, certainly not. <laughs> That's a closed shop. Cake Deco Club, you know, iced gateau. <laughs> oh, you're giving up cake. <laughs> oh, Martin, there's some woman here <laughs> offering help. <laughs> bit stuck up, a bit patronising, but you never know. You might be so oh, mute, mute, press mute. <laughs> Is that Martin? Yes. Yeah, but he doesn't like this screen thing. Hello, Martin. <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> I wish I could remember where I'd seen you. Fiona is not that big a village, is it? I mean, before she did, where did I go? Well, anyway, for better or worse, I'm the Bunty's buddy who's been assigned to you. The what? The Bunty's buddy. You remember, you asked for a little support from Bunty's buddies? Did I? Oh, never mind. Let's start again. Well, you must know Bunty. Labrador Retrievers runs the pasty shop. Is she that big woman who comes around with the parish magazine? Yes, and now she's established the buddies to help our more elderly and vulnerable residents. Oh, Bunty is wonderful. She matches volunteer to client. I mean, in reality, Carol, I chose you. Really? <laughs> How lovely. And so you're, you're my buddy, Fiona. My, my new friend. I'm just while you're shielding, you understand. I don't expect it will go on too much longer. <laughs> well, this is exciting. What happens now? What do you mean? I am, I can't invite you until the shielding ends. No, 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 you don't have to worry about doing that. I am here solely to be of help to you. So what do you need, Carol? I mean, today, for instance, I'm just off to waitress, and if there's any little thing I can pick up for you and leave it on the step, you let me know. Oh, can you go to Tesco? No, sorry, different direction. So I don't know waitrose. It's expensive, isn't it? I mean, I do need some toilet paper, but I always buy the jumbo economy pack with the 48 rolls you know, from Tesco, anyway. Um, I'll see what I can do. Oh, and a pound of pig's liver? Uh, assuming Waitrose has that. I wouldn't know. I'm vegetarian. Oh, and a cherry moa. A, ch a cherry... Um, how do you spell that? C-H-E-R-I-M-O-Y-A... You scoop it out and put it in fruit salad. Very high in potassium. I wish I could work out where I've seen you. Oh, did you, did you want something, Martin? I just need to warn you that the badger's not as dead as it seems. In fact, he's beginning to look interested in the hedgehog. Oh dear. Oh dear, Fiona, I have to go. Th thank you for the shopping. Um, where will you drop it round? Later this afternoon, if you're at home. Oh, well, well yes, I, I'm pretty much here at home all the time now. I'm twiddling my thumbs. I mean, I can't even go to the rising sun anymore. But, oh, that wouldn't have been where I met you. No. <laughs> it's a mystery. Except... <sighs> Looking after wild animals must keep you busy. What? 
Didn't they imagine saying something about a badger and a hedgehog? Yes, but, but, but not live ones. I mean, but they're not meant to be. What? Listen, I must go and take a quick look. Don't go away, Fiona. I, I, I will be back. I will be back. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Get a grip. <laughs> Fiona, what are you playing at? I'm not the one playing, Martin. I'm living alone. I'm not hurting your partner. Well, nor am I, unless you, um... Uh... Unless what, Martin? Well, it's, it's not as if we, uh... I mean, it, I mean, it's only an exchange of library books, for God's sake. Yes, but you keep asking me to renew it. Fifty Shades of Grey, fortnight after fortnight squeezing between the shelves. Whatever does Carol think? <laughs> I mean, she thinks it's Fifty Sheds. Uh, she's very trusting and, and she knows I love my shed uh, even more than your library van. You can't just not return it, especially now I've found you. I'd be forced to send you an official letter and then everyone would know. <laughs> it's not safe to come out. I, I'm shielding, don't forget. You're not shielding, you're hiding. But it won't work. You'll just have to bring the book back, sweetie pie, and take it out again. <laughs> really? <laughs> if you want to give me a check later, that's fine, Carol. Yeah, about later. Um, well, it's clearing up now, isn't it? Why don't you pop around for... Um... Oh, no, no, that's kind, but really. No, 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 no. I, I am not taking no for an answer. I think you'd like to see what I do in my workshop with all those dead animals. It's an absorbing art form, you know, taxidermy. <laughs> you prize out all those internal organs and all the guts. And then when the poor creature is absolutely empty, you sew it all back up carefully so that nobody would ever know. <laughs> Does that appeal to you, Fiona? <laughs> Fiona? Fiona, I think you're a natural. 